The donuts, that was one thing I used to come for, but then I changed my diet. But I've come in and asked if they have like whole wheat donuts, and they're like, no. The daytime people are in a rush. They gotta go back to work. They're stressed out. At nighttime, they everybody finish work. They're more relaxed. They got more time. You come out the bar, this is where everybody wants to come, hang out, relax, you know, and get that laid back feel. Especially on the weekends. Yeah. After we're done dancing in the Latin club, come over here at four o'clock in the morning. This is where we discuss our future, where we're gonna travel to, step for the next few years. Regulars are here all the time. We're here every night, here every night. I, I'm, I'm a zombie during the day. <laughs> I, can, I can do my writing here. And when I finish doing my writing, I can sit and talk. Coffee is coffee, you can get it anywhere, but I come here for the people. When it, with the regulars, this is a second home for them. Some people don't want to be in the house all day with nobody, and they come to the diner and they talk to people. It's a relaxed atmosphere. We talk about everything under the sun. We solve some of the world's problems, of course. My girlfriend and I have since split a long time ago. We stayed friends. So it's not like I have anybody home waiting for me. So. We don't, we don't rush people. You can have a cup of coffee and be here for like three hours and we wouldn't care. It's a more warming feeling. It's like an oasis, but instead of it being water like in a desert, it's light in a dark place. They're happy to serve you, they're happy to see you. They always say hello and how are you? And you know, it's a relationship, ongoing relationship. You know? I always say my job is not only being a waitress. I'm like the counselor, psychiatrist, Everything at once, you understand? You get to know people in so many different ways. How you doing, honey? To me, it's family. This diner is family. Everybody loves K. Who wouldn't love K? I hope. At least they act, they, they say they do. <laughs> I enjoy doing the silverware. That's my favorite part. Because that's my that's the time I get to be over here in my, in my own head. Because that's when it's not busy and I'm doing utensils and I'm in my own head thinking. You know, that's why I said it's kind of like therapeutic for me. So for me, nighttime is more normal than daytime, if you want to see it that way. <laughs> it took about a year for me to get used to it. It's hard because I feel like, you know, as a 15-year-old kid, this is my time now where I'm supposed to be more hands-on. I have to do what I got to do. I'm a single mom, so, you know? It's a little exhausting because I go to college in the morning. When you start working and going to school at the same time, it's like sleep is a thing that you have to put on your list. Like, I have a to-do list in my closet, and I literally put sleep on it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've been around for a while, and it's like one of these things that may be passing your time, that you see less diners, and have to discuss that with other people, and they've mentioned the same thing. Um, in the early 90s, it was diners everywhere in Park Slope and in Brooklyn, and the last few years, a lot of them have shut down. It'd be sad if, if they uh, disappeared. I was just sitting here thinking that there's almost nowhere to go, you know, at this time of night. If you want to get, you know, a sandwich or, you know, a little bit of food to eat, pancakes or something. There's very few places open. Uh, Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. So happy with the news. <laughs> <laughs>